I'm Cinnamon Cooney, your archer, but and today we're going to do another really easy peasy abstract using neutral colors. We're going to amp it up a little bit this time and add some blue to that pop of red. And then also at the end, the optional foil, which I think is a lot of fun, but it is an option. Don't get stressed out about it. And remember, for a project like this, you can change these colors out. I just happen to feel that neutrals are very forgiving of new painters and they're going to help you achieve that success. So I have my acrylic paint out here. Let's jump on in and start laying out our abstract. Now, this time, I am going to be focusing a little bit in this corner and this corner. So I'm going to put out a smidge of my red here and here, kind of counterbalancing this area. I am going to grab an artist knife with the longer blade to it, the longer trowel. And I'm going to just, with a very flat, smooth angle to the canvas, Right, so I'm really parallel, smooth out this paint covering this little corner area here. And then I'm going to come up to this upper corner and I'm going to bring this down. See how I bring that down? And a little bit out. And these little bits are going to peek out throughout my composition, giving me little pops of excitement and color. The next color that I'm going to put out is I love putting out that yellow ochre. So I'm going to put out a little yellow ochre here and there, just to really give my canvas some energy. I'm also going to get a little of my burnt sienna. So you see I've got yellow ochre, yellow ochre, yellow ochre, yellow ochre, yellow ochre, yellow ochre, yellow ochre. The thing to watch for is try not to get your paint dirty on the inside when you're doing this method, because you really want it to stay clean and fresh for you. So I'm going to pull down first. I'm going to come back, and now my angle is going to be a little bit up. It's not going to be so flat. As I come over the red, I'm going to let it skip, and I'm going to stroke back. Can you see how I'm doing? So this is a little akin to spreading peanut butter. A little bit. Come forward, and then down. You can see that it made those interesting stripes almost. As I come here, I'm going to just make sure that the canvas is covered. And you can use the tip of your knife to do some more detailed work. Everything is about if you've got it at this partial angle or if you've got it parallel. I'm going to come across from here through there. And you can see that I embrace some of the canvas peeking through. Come up top, scraping down, taking this right to the edge of the canvas. I can scrape off there and pull it over. And again, neutrals are super forgiving. They're going to go in our house. They're going to look amazing. These only get more gorgeous the bigger you go. Let's put out some of our raw umber. See, that's a much darker, more intense brown here. Take that down. I'm going to just pull this in. You can see it picks up some stuff, but it goes over beautifully. Come right to the edges there. I can even do this little edge work. See this little edge work there? Really nice. Love palette knives. Scraping forward and then down. Scraping forward and then coming through the middle and down. Up again the middle and down. See how that makes these beautiful shapes. They start to feel like maybe almost landscapes, but not quite. Now I'm going to skip over my red. And I'm going to put out a little white. Let's open that up. That's fresh tube. Fresh, 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 fresh. A little white right here. A little white right here. A little white right there. I'm also going to indulge in some spectacular black. These two will come together and make a little bit of a gray. Doing these adjacent to each other. Maybe we'll put another little black here. This is about how much paint I have in there. So I'm going to pull down, come over, pull down, and I scoop stroke. So see how I came down and scooped? I come down here. Then I'm going to come across. Real light pressure pulls it across all the way. Look at how that paint comes out. Is that not gorgeous? 
All right, so we've got this and this and this. Let's come up and then come to the side. So it makes that nice little structural space. Bringing my white down and then I'm going to come across again. Now already we're getting some gorgeous stuff. If I go ahead and break the space here and here, I can create some very interesting passage work here and come over here. I don't want to take out all my white, but I'll pull this forward, creating more interesting work here. Now is a good time to wipe off. Now, this is when we elevate a little bit because we're going to go into our blue. So this is turquoise. I'm going to pull a little turquoise right here. It's going to look really amazing next to the red. Another one right there. Notice that I'm very careful to keep the wet paint out of my tube. Wiping off. I'm going to pull down and then I'm going to come across here. Look at that pop. Whoa. Yeah, right? That's awesome. Let's come up a little bit in a surprising way. We didn't expect to go that direction. And then we're going to come over, but so light. See how it's very light and that skips and that leaves a little turquoise? Wipe off. And then I'm going to come almost in a circular stroke right like that. Beautiful work there. And then come across here. Pull down. Again, light pressure. And just to give a deep value to that, we'll go ahead and put a little phthalo and a little phthalo. See, that's like, boom, it's so much darker. Right there. Pull back. Oh, look at that. Just pulling back. You don't want it to go too green, so don't press too deep in there. And then back this way. It's going to look so amazing across the black. Now that I have this beautifully arranged on my canvas, you're kind of seeing how the forward strokes and back strokes arrange some fun stuff. Right into the wet paint, I'm going to put a little bit of this foil focus. I'm going to just tap it down with my finger this time. Just my finger. I'm going to keep my finger out of the paint. Just right into this wet paint. And I want to tear interesting shapes. I don't want like normal shapes. I want little bits. You can even take down a little bit. Just right there. Paint's still wet. Acrylic is very soft and sticky for a period of time. And I found that I could avoid using the glue, and which I don't necessarily always love using, and just Enjoy this. Anywhere I get a little bit of the paint in there, I just make it part of it. Like I'm going to tap that with just my finger. And that just becomes a weird little part of the composition. So you don't have to stress about it. I'm not going to take too, too much. I just want to put little bits here. There we go. It wants to stick to my hands. So it's a very messy, fun bit. I like to say it's like fairy wings. Glitter is easy compared to this sometimes. I'm trying to focus this gold space here. All right, just don't want to put too much because too much is going to like overwhelm. You can save the extra in a shoe box and you can also enjoy how it impacts your hands a little bit. Woo! <laughs> all right, that's all it takes to make this amazing abstract. It's gorgeous. It's fun. It's easy. It's beginner friendly. You can use the colors you have, but I highly recommend doing neutrals, especially for these first few, because they're going to be really successful for you. Be good to yourself. Be good to each other. And I want to see you at the easel really soon. Okay. Bye-bye.